Great to see you, bud. Thank you look you. great. Uh, I, thank you for being here, and thanks for being on this coast and doing our show. Yeah. I appreciate this, because you're over in San Francisco. San Francisco, exactly, yeah. But you, you, you were telling me that you, you, you've you been testing out these driverless cars. Yes, yes. I am a, a beta tester for Waymo, which is a Google car. You know, a lot, a lot of the big companies have driverless cars, and they're all over the city. I mean, they, they're driving 24-7. And you can just order them like an Uber. You Wait, know, you so it, it, what, what is it shaped like? It's like a, a little sort of electric Jaguar. And wow. it's got cameras on it and all these sensors. And you have an app and you order it like an Uber and it just pulls up. And you can... There's no driver. There's no driver. You, your app unlocks the door, you get in, and you go. And I've, I've done it probably a dozen times. I just did it yesterday. Wow. Yeah. And you're not scared? You know, it's a little weird at the beginning. I mean, you, you the first time I got in, you're sort of thinking like, like the scene in the Fast and Furious. You know, the cars are like dropping out of the parking lot and, yes. you know, like somebody remotely controlling it. But, um, you know, after a while, it's so normal. I, I was in one with my son the other day and we were whispering because we didn't want the driver to hear us. Yeah. Uh, but then you there realize is, there is there's no driver. Um, and they're absolutely amazing. I mean. They, there's still some kinks to work out, but these are going to be all, uh, all over. <laughs> no, 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 there, there's some kinks. A few, but, they're, but I mean, they've driven millions of miles all over San Francisco. It will be in every city, you think? I think so. Yeah. In about 10, and people are super excited. I mean, people get really, like, kind of freaked out about it. Like, when we, when I get out of it, people gather around like paparazzi and, and snap pictures because they're so excited to see, to yeah. see somebody coming out of a driverless car. Oh, you actually brought us a video of yeah. a ride you took in one. Thank you for doing yeah. this. Let, let's, let's go through what's going on. So, there wait, so why even have the wheel, though? Yeah, I know, I know. That, that scares me a little bit. I don't want to see that. Yeah. There it oh, is. Oh, no, this is terrible. This is it. I'm in the back seat. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. All, Wait, but... yeah. All over, and I, you can take it all over the city. Anywhere in San Francisco. No, see, if I was designing this thing, I'll talk to Google. We'll figure it out. <laughs> if I was designing that, I would get rid of the whole wheel, get rid of the passenger seat. I don't right. want to see the seat. No, right. What yeah. does that do that, for me? That's right. See a wheel, that's frightening. Yeah, exactly. I just want to be you in You just a, want the, the thing, right? I want to be in like the Las Vegas sphere almost. Yeah. I don't want to look out the window, <laughs> and I coming. want to be in Paris. That's coming. That is, That's right? Coming, yeah. This is th this interview will probably in, in 20 years people will laugh and they go, "Oh, Jimmy Fallon said like this would never I, I am saying it will be the future." It is. It is it the is. future. It already it, is. In 10 it's years, happening. this what what you just saw there will be everywhere. In the I country. agree with you. But I don't think the wheel will be there. No, yeah. <laughs> I think it's a good idea. I think the wheel's a waste <laughs> of space and it freaks me out. I don't even need to see the front. Do you want to see the street? No, you don't need to see it. I would get scared. You can to go actually like, have just a, a movie in the windshield, right? I don't even want to, because I would be like, ah, you know, watch out, or ah. yeah. Can you can you make suggestions? You can't. No. That's it gonna does. be a problem for New Yorkers, because they're like, <laughs> you can't. You make a left on Madison. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be what's well. New York's gonna have a different thing. Yeah. Uh, you have uh, you have a lot of jobs. You do a great job at uh, all of your jobs. And I was I was going, what do you do like when you're not working? Like, what do you do? Yeah. To, to yeah. enjoy yourself. You know, one of the things I do to kind of de-stress, because, I, you know, we all have stressful jobs. Every couple of months, I go and work in, um, in some of the most stressful places, which are kitchens of fine dining restaurants. And I'll go work there for like three or four days. And I'll do prep. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll peel tomatoes for hours. I just did this at a restaurant called Harbor House in Northern California. I've done it at a restaurant called Single Thread. Um, but this yeah. is... Yeah. You just go and prep food for hours and just peel tomatoes. This is kind of a zen. And what happens when you peel the tomatoes? They, they just go they, into a soup? Yeah, it, it's just sliced in half, and it's a little tomato on a plate of other things. Like, yeah. people who eat the food wouldn't know that somebody spent an hour, you know, stuffing shishito peppers. Yeah. or just, so it gives yeah. you a little appreciation yeah. for those uh, totally. things. You go, hey, someone did this for a an hour. And it's really hard work, but there's something very centering about it because it's this repetitive job, and it makes me feel like I'm stepping out of my world for a few days. These are like probably Michelin star These are Michelin star chefs, yeah. Have you, ever, have you ever cooked for a Michelin star chef? I have. Really? Yeah, I have. I've cooked for our friend Daniel. Daniel who? Yeah. I love Daniel him. He's, he's, the, he's amazing. You cooked for Daniel I who? made him a sandwich. It was a sandwich. <laughs> That counts. That it counts. counts. It counts. I would be. It counts. Uh, I would quest on Daniel too. Yeah. Uh, wait. But what? 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 What, you, what kind of sandwich? Oh, I was a veggie sandwich. You know. P peanut He's butter a veggie, jelly. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a bunch of veggie stuff. Veggies. Yeah. And what do you? What do you think? He thought it was pretty good. 
Yeah, I've, you know, and, and the thing about cooking for, for Michelin star chefs is that people get nervous to cook for them, right? Because, well, I mean, you, you, you're cooking for the greatest chefs in the world, like my friend Kyle Connaughton of, of Single Thread or Matt Kammerer of Harbor House. These guys are amazing chefs, but they appreciate when somebody takes the time to cook for them. So actually the pressure is a little bit, it comes down a little bit. Like you could no one does it. No, you could serve them Campbell's soup and like a, a Velveeta um, grilled cheese and yeah. they would actually be happy. <laughs> yeah, they would love it, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I love uh, when you first started coming on our show is How I Built This is my, one of my favorite podcasts. It's the greatest. It's so fun. Uh, I, I love what you do there. You basically talk to different creators and you go like, uh, how did you start your business? How did you fail? Because everyone has failure stories and how yeah. to how to get back up and 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 survive. It's just a fast. It's just gets. It's so positive. The message is positive. It's going on season eight. Season eight. Congratulations, yes, thank buddy. You so Are much. you kidding yes. me? Season eight. Great. Yeah, we just launched it. Yeah, thank you. And uh, Wow in the World is a uh, runaway hit. Congratulations on this. Uh, this is giant. Wow in space. You could pre-order now. Uh, I, I know you're talking to entrepreneurs, inventors. Very uh, creative people. I was thinking, if you don't mind, I'd like to maybe sell you some ideas that I have. I, These are major yeah. ideas. I love it, yeah. I have to do it in the right order because some are better than others. All right. <laughs> All right, here's one. All right, this one's called Cereal Milk Boosters. All right. You could always change the name. Okay. All right. But these are packets that are like the size of like Sweet and Lows okay. that are used in like boring cereal to make them more flavorful and or nutritious, so you can add probiotics or electrolytes into a regular bowl of cornflakes. You know, just you put the little yeah. packet in there. Water has all these packets, why not milk? What happened to milk? Yeah. Milk, to milk is the new water. Yeah, right? I you see what so. I'm saying? Yeah. Do you see this happening? Yeah. You can make chocolate cocoa. Totally. Why not make a little more nutritious? I, I think I, it's like those packets that you add to water for yes. hydration, right? Yes. You just add it to your breakfast cereal. Yes. There might be something there. There might. This is getting a, this is a might, maybe thumbs might, up from. Might be I shouldn't have started there. with that one because that was my worst one, I think. Okay. <laughs> I thought, but all right, here, I'll tell you the other one. All right, this one's called uh, This Side, That Side. Okay. All right, so it's, it's, it's called, um, it's a whole new, a whole new genre of, 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 of thing called Jumbotron Gaming. Okay. Yeah, ready for this? So basically it uses the volume of one side of the stadium versus the volume of the other side of the stadium to play a giant two-player game on the Jumbotron at stadium events. Okay, one side, one side, got it. Yes, yeah, so like, okay. so Jumbotron. Like, yep, so okay. usually there's both teams, so say Kansas City versus the Jets. The Jet fans are on this side, yep. Kansas City is on that side. Yep. So on the Jumbotron you see like maybe a, a, a soccer player about to kick a ball and you have 10 seconds to get as loud as you can. Okay. <laughs> And yeah. the power meter goes up, you build the energy for the kicker. Yeah. Now the other side gets 10 seconds to build the energy to block the kick. For the goalie. Oh, the I goalie. see. Oh, and you right. play an actual video game. In the stadium. In the stadium while you're waiting, you know, yeah. Just like during a, a timeout or something, yeah. Yeah, or timeout, yeah. or halftime, or whatever it is, like those Jumbotron games that everyone's already... That dirty. seems very doable. Like with the technology we humans have created now... Two microphones. I think we can make this work. Jumbotron Gaming yes. is the new, is the future. Right. I, I, I can see that, okay. I can see All that right. one, right? Keep them coming, well, like, keep I thought, coming. I thought a slap fight would be funny, like, you know those cartoon slap fights? And you just see someone <laughs> slap the Kansas City fan, I just do. Like... <laughs> All right, so that one, gets, that one gets a thumbs up, I won't say it from you. Yeah, I think so. And the other one got a medium thumb. All right, yeah. this is the last one here. Okay. It's a dog toy. All right, okay. That you, that you throw and you play with yep. your, I, I'm a proud owner of a, a dog too, yeah. Love yep. my dog. Yep. So it's a, you play tug of war with your dog, you yep. with like, you know, yep. those a chew stick. toys. Yeah, yep. those yep. chew toy yep. things with two handles on it. Yep. But the fun catch here is the toy looks like two pieces of grilled cheese split in half and the dog and the owner stretching the cheese of the sandwich. Oh, yeah. So it's like stretchy yeah. cheese in the middle. Of, so it looks like you're both pulling on a, yeah. either a slice of pizza or a grilled cheese. You're both holding half of a grilled cheese sandwich, and it's called um, Fetch and Stretch. Fetch and, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. What do you think? So, all right, uh, all right well, thumbs up on that one, or I, no? I think so. Yeah, you think I think there's up? something there. I think there's right. something there. Audience, uh, cereal milk boosters? Yeah. Jumbotron Gaming? Fetch and stretch? Yeah. That's it. It happened right here. Come on, buddy. You're always the best. Guy Ross, everybody. Wow in the world. Wow in space. It's available for pre-order now. Hey.